you're used to, again, managing a New York Buck Showalter uh, for an owner who is um, seemingly demanding, um, has a ton of money, and wants to win. Uh, is there any similarity at all between Steve Cohen and George M. Steinbrenner III, Buck Showalter? Oh, they want to win. You know, uh, and, you know I, uh, you know, Steve's a guy that, uh, you know, eliminates excuses. And, and I love that about him. You know, if, you know, if you think something's important, uh, I know he and his wife, it was very important to them to, to have one of the best family rooms in, in, in sports. And they went about doing that to make it a place where, you know, families and, and people are comfortable. Things like that, the little things that really create a great uh, karma around an organization. And, uh, you know, he doesn't. You know, he likes it when the Mets win. So do I. You know, a lot of people would love to have a, you know, all owners want to win, you know, but uh, Steve, um, uh, it's important to him that the New York Mets be good. And that's a short conversation. I'm in. So, um, and I know you, you definitely didn't want to spend your birthday talking about the man signing the check. So I can, uh, you know, but I just, <laughs> it's just, it's, it, uh, there's not many people on planet earth who, uh, you know, managed for George and now is back in New York city for the other team, you know, or the Yankees, the other team. And you're on another, I, I mean, there's not many people what Tory did it. Right. That's, that's about it. I don't know who else to do Yogi. Right. I mean, I, I don't know who else. It's a very short list, Buck. You know, it's kind of interesting. Well, there's a reason why. <laughs> why is that? No, yeah. no, it, it's a, a you know because most of us aren't this old. But he, yeah. you know, he's been great I mean, since day one. I mean, um, you know, he owns a club and he, he can do whatever. You know, all the little things, the peripheral things that can, you know, he eliminates those uh, uh, the things that sometimes challenge the organization behind the scenes, and uh, he just expects a, a return for you know the. Uh, emotional and and financial investment i mean you know he cares it's important and he and he likes sports and baseball he likes it you can tell and it energizes the club when he's around we like having him around he you know he knows the players he knows uh, what the end game needs to be and and we share that and so does billy epler and, and all our front office it's a you know the, the challenges are going to be when when you go through some some tough spells which we which we will we already have but you don't wall around in self pity, and uh, you know it's like I tell the coaching staff and the players: this is our your, your time to shine when you have some challenges along the way. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.